What is a waffle? Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Rob Mulligan, and I'm one of the admins in the Funko Pops Marketplace group on Facebook. Um, you can see the URL right there above me, facebook.com slash groups slash Funko Pops Marketplace. I'll also put the link in the description, uh, so check that out. We're one of the fastest growing groups on Facebook, and uh, we have a great team of mods and admins, including myself, and we do an awesome job of filtering out scammers, trolls, any of that negative stuff to uh, help you know manifest and create a very welcoming community of people that just have a real great passion for Funko Pops and all Funko products. Um, so check that out. Join. I'd love to see you there. Um, lately in our group, as well as other groups, I've been seeing a lot of people commenting on different waffles and things, um, just saying, you know, how does this work? I see people uh, winning Pops at like a fraction of the cost. How do I join? What is a waffle? Um, first off, a waffle is basically a raffle. Uh, to avoid, you know, the Facebook police algorithm and other social networking sites uh, algorithms, uh, you use the word waffle instead of raffle. For some reason, it just triggers uh, things on the social media uh, sites and stuff. So that's the first thing to know. And check out uh, the pinned rules in the Funko Pops Marketplace group. Uh, you'll see it there as, as a featured post in the top of the group. Uh, read those rules. It kind of explains, uh, you know, using waffle and some other things that uh, we'll go over in a moment as I, as I go through this. Um, but ultimately, I've been seeing people talk about, uh, you know, how do waffles work? How do I join? I see people winning these for super cheap. How can I do that? Uh, so that's why I made this video basically to explain what is a waffle. So let's get into it. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is bring up an example waffle. Uh, this is one that I just recently had in the Funko Pops Marketplace group. Um, you know, if you're in the group, you'll see a post similar to this. Sometimes it'll be, you know, one prize, one sort of Funko product or whatever. Sometimes it'll be a variety stack like this one right here where whoever wins, uh, they have a choice. They can pick one of these prizes out of the variety stack. Um, so when you see that post, uh, you'll basically see whatever there is to win. You'll see it time stamped with the person's name and date. That's also very important. Uh, make sure it's a legit post. Um, and then you're going to see in the top of that description, let me scroll up there. Um, you'll see where it basically says, you know, new waffle or this is a waffle or something along those lines, whatever the title might be by the person posting it. And then typically the next line will explain kind of what it is, you know, this one being chases and exclusives. Uh, sometimes it might just be, you know, describing the one prize or whatever. Uh, and then the next line, the most important line, you'll see these numbers. You'll see, you know, uh, in the case of this waffle, 7 slash 11 slash 1. Uh, now, I described it right there in the post. It's only seven per spot. So that means it's seven bucks per spot. There's 11 spots available to join, and there's going to be one winner in the end. And you see there it says winner's choice. That's because it's a variety stack. Um, like I showed before, you know, there's multiple prizes that you can win there, not just one prize. So that's why it says winner's choice. So the next thing to look is uh, I put there comment the spots you want. Uh, in, in a waffle, when it's posted, you'll typically see uh, you know, all the numbers there. In this case, like I said, it's 7 slash 11 slash 1. That's 7 per spot, 11 spots, one winner. These are the 11 spots. So you'll see a list of numbers in that post, and you'll usually see names listed to the numbers that are already taken. So when you want to join a waffle, you'll look at the post, you'll look at the description, you'll see what numbers are available or are still blank. In this case, all these numbers are available. Then you'd go down in the comments and you would comment, you know, hey, I want number seven and number nine or number two, or I want, you know, nine, 10 and 11 or whatever you want, you comment the spots. Then the person running it, they'll go into the post, they'll add your name next to that number. Whatever numbers you choose, they'll put your name next to that. Then uh, as other people pick numbers, names will be added to the post. Once it's all filled up, all in this case, all 11 spots are filled with names. Uh, I'll post in the comments, hey, this is capped. It's all full. Everybody send in when you can. And by sending in, that means you send in your payment. You're basically covering the spots that you chose. So you'll see in the description some more details there. First thing to notice is it's free shipping for anyone in the U.S. When you win this, you win it, and it's shipped to you for free. If you're international, you're overseas or somewhere out of the U.S., I'll cover the first six bucks in shipping. The next thing is when you send in, you got to send it as PP or CA as F and F with no notes. Now, we explain that in the pinned rules, like I mentioned before, uh, calling these waffles instead of raffles. And you can see in the, the featured post at the top of the uh, Funko Pops Marketplace group, you'll see we explain all these things. But I'll just mention it here. PP basically means PayPal. 
CA means cash app. FNF is friends and family. No notes means you don't put any note when you send in that friends and family payment. So ultimately, however any spots you pick, let's say you picked a couple spots in this waffle. It's seven per spot. So if you pick two, now you owe 14 bucks. So you would send it in. Right there you can see the, the PP address is cyberpunkuncensored at Gmail. And you'll see there's some spaces there. I left out the dot com. That's just so spammers can't easily grab my email and start messing with it. Uh, below there you see my cash app, that's CA, and that's Mulligan101. I left out the money symbol at the beginning as all cash app addresses start with the money symbol. I left that out because that's also one of the rules that we have pinned. You leave out the money symbol in comments and in the posts on waffles. It's just another thing to avoid getting flagged by the uh, Facebook algorithm police. Um, the next thing to notice in this uh, uh, description here is FTO or the wheel, players vote. Sometimes it'll be FTO, which means first ticket out. Sometimes LTO, last ticket out. Or the wheel, which is a digital wheel that spins and ends up with a winner. You put in all the names of people there. Um, in this case, I gave a couple options, and then I have my players vote how they want to see the winner picked. Uh, first ticket out or last ticket out, that's just a bunch of, bunch of raffle tickets put into a hard stack, typically shaken up, and then you, know, you pick out a winner, and it's all done on a live stream. Whether you do the wheel, first ticket out, last ticket out, any other method, um, it's always done on a live post. So once it's filled, the person will post, hey, we're capped, we're full, send it in. Then everybody that, that claimed the numbers, they send in the amounts they owe to the PayPal or Cash App or whatever is listed in the description. Uh, typically friends and family, no notes, um, like I said, for waffles. Now, if you're doing a sale, you know, a sale, definitely send it goods and services. You want to involve tracking. But in waffles, everybody sends it friends and family uh, because you're seeing who wins. But anyways, once everybody sends in and it's capped, you'll see all the names up there. Uh, you know, the 1 through 11 in this case, uh, if there was a bunch of names listed there, uh, they would start getting green checks next to the names as they send in the amounts. And then that lets you know, okay, people are sending in, then you'll see it's all full. Now you know the live is coming soon. Uh, I'll typically post a, a comment, hey, I'm going to go live in a couple hours or whenever I am so all the players can kind of get a heads up. Then when I run it live, I'll tag all the players in the actual live post. And then I'll run either first ticket, in this case, first ticket out or the wheel, depending on what the players voted for. So that's pretty much how it works. That's a breakdown. But as always, and you can see in this description, I say, please check the pinned rules or comment any questions if you need help joining this waffle. And that's important. You know, if you do have you know, any questions about waffles, for sale posts, auctions, trades, any of that stuff, please post a comment to the Funko Pops Marketplace group or just message me, one of the other admins or mods directly and uh, get some help. We're here to help. It's a very uh, uh, open, welcoming community and we want it to, you know, have more waffles, more sales, more trades, more pictures of your collections and all that fun stuff as well as Funko Pop news. We just want it to be an active community. Uh, so. No question is a stupid question. Don't feel like uh, you need to just sit back and, and guess or avoid uh, getting to win uh, waffles and things like that. Join in the fun, you know. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions, like I said, and we'll get you going. Um, other than that, make sure if this video was helpful, you give it a like, you give it a share, and hopefully I'll see you in the Funko Pops Marketplace group real soon, uh, joining some of the waffles. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.